I know who I am, I hope you know it Planted like seeds, I'm still growing Can't lose my way, I stay focused Not talking about it, had to show it Still grinding, nothing's perfect Found peace, soul searching Still grinding, nothing's perfect Found peace, soul searching I know who I am, can't tell me my me Fell in love with myself and that set me free My pain was deep in Hey y'all, it's your girl Darshay Sitting pretty, so I basically wanted to show you guys How I did a new change on my hair as y'all can see i started off with a finger wave look you know had to add me some pink and whatever so it was real cute but then eventually i wanted to like kind of grow it out make it look healthy you know so i used my rose oil blend when i i made it natural you guys so i'll be showing you guys this soon but basically this is how it ended up growing out and it looked extra good and then over time this is how it grew and lord knows i needed that so it's time when i end up dyeing my hair blonde y'all can see the edges is popping and laid yes it is looking good that rose oil did it thing and anybody if you're bleaching from home i recommend you to definitely ask for a professional but i use the marley kiki twist 613 hair that's why we're doing a style at the end i thought about going a little natural right now until i figure out what i want to do probably do some tapings probably do a ball that's blind probably do a side ponytail i don't know yet but as of right now i said hmm, let me do something different woke up and just was like i just want to dye my hair so i eventually end up just going to the hair store to get what i need and i i did use 50 volume and i do recommend that if you do this be sure to not shampoo or wash your hair beforehand like kind of get it prepped like two three months ahead using a conditioner but anyway i end up using the bleach throughout my scalp to change the color and make it like more like a white 613 base. I know I'm gonna have to go through and tone it again, but Lord knows, look in the middle, y'all, it was stinging a little bit. So, just to be real, seek a professional to make sure you know you have somebody that can give you good tips on it, or just listen to me because I'm the professional. Paul Mitchell Gray, yes, I am. And anyways, throughout the day, I ended up just, like, going around the whole outside perimeter once I went back in on the inside. And, y'all, excuse my daddy. He came over to my house and brought me and brother hamburgers and stuff. And we like to um get going and have a lot of fun. <laughs> hamburgers was banging, though. It was, it was good. My daddy loved to feed us. Now, that is the castor oil rose oil that I had made and oh, 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 end up spilling a little bit too much but oh, rub that over my hair and it felt real good you know after that bleach treatment you know we took it back in the day my daddy loved this on ebony eyes so had me feeling myself my him and Bella was in there doing their thing so, anyways, I end up getting my face together and said, let me add me some lashes from my line. This is the Mink Lash. I haven't came up with a name yet, but I had got a few wholesale orders. Period. Looking good. Already. Hair not even done. Go ahead and I went in and combed out them edges. 
Y'all can see I wear plenty of wigs. So like I tell people, you take care of your hair and do it right, baby. You're going to always have your edges. Your hair going to always be up. If you're bald head, you know it's because you snatched it out or you just automatically just pull the wig off. Trust me, I know. I've been in the industry. Been doing wigs for people since I've been 14. I know when y'all snatching them out and I know when y'all taking care of them edges. So as long as you take care of your hair, oil it, condition it, you good. So now I'm brushing it up, getting it ready for my ponytail. I did add like a leave-in conditioner. I'll be eventually showing you guys these products. This is what I've been using on my hair for a very long time and I just wanted to make sure that it was A1 for y'all. So y'all could see the different transitions on my hair. Cause I've dyed my hair. If you know me, I dyed my hair plenty of times blonde. Y'all, yeah, my daddy loved this song. I don't know if y'all can hear his vocals, but Chai, he was in there just singing his heart away. And I just let him and Bella do their thing. <laughs> and I ended up putting my hair up on his tail. Had to get it through. Add me some... Kinky braids up front. Well, kinky twist. I didn't like the kinky twist up front. That's that taping camera right there. If you know, you know. So I went ahead and just did the kinky twist. Look, I wanted to add some strands up front. Give it a little flare. Y'all can see I had a little patch in the front right there. I had to go back and fix it. I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta fix that. So I went ahead and fixed it. There you go. Almost done. And like the Eco Style Gel. Y'all love me some Eco Style Gel. I got the red one. Because the red one don't really cake when you use it like on natural hair. And it lasts all day. And your edges be so pretty even when it curl up. Put on a lip liner. Just to Added me some gloss. I should I soon be sharing my own gloss. I told Bella to take a break. She gonna be a child for a while. And there you go. Voila. Did my thing and it looked good. 